Well, doesn't this feel like deja vu? I feel like we were just here doing this exact same thing a couple months ago. That's because we were. For some reason, the best patch for making money that they've done in recent times was two months ago when they did triple pay on what we're doing right now. And we thought we're not going to get anything like that again because recently they've been doing 1.5 times payout and then here we are they brought it back with another nine hundred thousand dollar payout for the union depository contract so if you want to take advantage of this this week make sure the first thing you do is go into foreclosure bank and purchase an auto shop as you can see they're all on sale this week and if you already own one you can do all of the upgrades for 30 percent off also and once you've done that come on in go to your available contracts board right here and if you don't see the union depository contract it's okay the other ones are fun too you can do those if you want in while you're waiting for it to show up or you can just go ahead and click on one of them start it and then just cancel out of the job just call sansa and just cancel the job and then it'll be gone and then the union depository contact will contract i should say will show back up now there is a cooldown for this it's anywhere yeah I, i'm probably gonna time it because i some people say it's an hour cooldown but i did it when i did this video two months ago i could have swore it was like 35 40 minutes but I'll, I'll end up timing it all right so what we're gonna do in this video here today is i'm gonna show you guys the fastest easiest way to do the whole thing it literally takes like less than 25 minutes and that's from start to finish so let's go ahead and select the union depository contract now there's two setups the elevator key and the vault code and then you have the robbery itself I'm going to go through all of this together right here, right now. I'll leave timestamps below in case you want to skip ahead or, you know, so you can see the parts of the video that you want to see, I should say. But I feel like I've got this down. I did. I made millions last time. This was two times money and we're probably going to do it again here today. So anyway, elevator key. Let's start this up. I'll show you the fastest, easiest way, the way that I personally do it. I hate that it's nighttime. I hate doing this or recording videos at night because I feel like it just doesn't look as good, but it is what it is. This is just the setup mission, so I'm not too worried about it. So if you have a Spyro, go ahead and spawn that. If you have an Oppressor Mark II, go ahead and spawn that. I'm going to hang up on her right away because then it'll just show you where the location is you need to go to. Or if you have a Buzzard, if you have the CEO ability Buzzard, go ahead and spawn that. Or you can drive there, but we're going to fly. So let me speed this part up a little bit. All right, and it's a very quick journey. If you're on a ground vehicle, like if you drove here, there'll be a place for you to go walk in the front door. Uh, but if you're flying like me, or you're in an air vehicle, oppressor, whatever, you can just come and land up here on the roof, which is what we're going to do. So make sure that you have snacks, obviously, armor, because uh, there will be quite a few people in here you're going to be fighting. You can use whatever gun you feel comfortable with. I'm going to use my handy-dandy uh, assault shotgun. Love this thing, as you guys know. Beep. Beep boop. I wish it was like some of the others where you could like stealthily kill people. Oh, hey, what the hell? <laughs> that plant. You, your life was saved there, my guy, from a bloody plant. All right, there's one more guy here. Excuse me, sir. Okay, now when you go in here, this guy, let's just make sure, because he has a shotgun, so you don't want him to actually hit you. And then we'll take out this guy in here too, just because he's going to annoy me. There we go. All right, armor. Let's have a little bit of snacks here. And let's search the body. Okay, we searched it. So even though sometimes the animation doesn't show, that's just because that guy falls in a very awkward position. Let's just say that. Um, okay, so now I'm actually going to switch to my combat. Yeah, we'll switch to the combat. Now we're going to be going downstairs. And this is where it's fairly easy, but you just got to make sure you get cover as soon as you go in here. All right, let's take cover on this wall. Oops, put my gun away. Didn't mean to do that. All right, now we're just going to go crazy. Um, let's actually armor up. I hate when these guys are like... Ducking behind the cars, which I don't blame them. Let's be honest. We're just going to run and gun here. Excuse me, sir. There we go. All right, now this is the vehicle that you're going to want to get. And we're not going to be using this as a getaway vehicle, obviously. We'll be using our car, but we're actually not going to use our car either. So it doesn't really matter. All right. So this part is going to say to go towards your auto shop, but we're not going to be going towards our auto shop. We're actually going to be going downtown. So we're just going to turn this way and head down to the motorway. Because in a second now, she'll call you and say, you know, go to the, the downtown place. There you go. Drop it off somewhere near the bank. Excuse me. 
All right. So, yeah, we've got the three markers. So let's speed this part up a little bit. All right. And we're just going to go in the first one right here because it doesn't really matter, I find. All right. Right in here. There you go. Now all it's going to say is get on out of the area. So that's pretty easy. Let's speed this part up here a little bit. All right, so I've just spawned my CEO ability, my buzzard. And there you go. Mission passed. Super easy, super quick. Nice, easy 10k. Not that much money, but that's not... We, we don't care about the money in the setups, do we, really? All right, now let's land back here at our auto shop and we'll move on to mission number two. All right, so here we are for mission number two. Vault code. This is actually a really easy one. Um, obviously, okay, let's jump in our buzzard since it's right here. This is a really easy one. Some people find it have a little difficult time doing this one. Um, but I think it's really easy. So basically, she's going to send us to the airport. So we're just going to skip ahead real quick. Hang up on it so it shows you where the marker is. And let's fly and speed this up a little bit. We're just heading straight to the airport. All right, so now we're here at the airport. I'm just going to come down low just so that yellow marker knows that I'm here. I don't even know if this is needed, but there you go. Now it's going to tell us to steal the police maverick. There's going to be two cops sitting next to this maverick make sure you take out both of them uh one of them hides behind one of the luggage trailer things well, actually we'll use this gun right here no we don't, we don't want to take out the poor guy that's working here take out you and then the other cop is right here there we go okay now you'll lose the cops by the time you get to the location we're going to so just make sure you fly high enough um so that the cars on the ground won't see you because you don't want to trigger or, you know, have the cars on the ground. So you just want to make sure you get high enough. As you can see right now, we're losing the police. But if we're too low, the police on the ground will see us. So anyway, let's fly ahead here to speed this up. All right, so we should lose those cops any second now. We flew into the city because this is where we're going to need to be. So once you get to the FIB building right here, you can just slow down. Okay, there you go. Now you can see it's on the ground beneath us. Now, when you're looking, because you have to take a picture of the car, right? Or you have to find the guy. Uh, you got to scan the car. It's always the same car. It's always the same car. So let me just put this into hover. There we go. And then we switch to this. And it's going to be a blue comet. A blue comet, which is, I believe... It's actually this one right here. But I think we need to, we need to move a little bit. All right, we've moved. I wasn't... I couldn't swing the camera where I needed it to be. All right, so it's scanning that one, but it actually needs to be this one. Hey, no, this one. Why is it... Just go on the one that I'm pointing at, maybe. All right, go on. Just scan that car. I know you want to. It's fine. Just scan it. Okay, now can you do the one next to it, please? Why are you scanning all the bloody cars? All right, there we go. It's a point behind the car, and then it would work. But it's the blue comet. If it's daytime, you can actually see him sitting in there. So it says you've located the bank manager vehicle. So now what we're going to do is make sure I don't hit this building. Um, he's going to go to one of two places. He's either going to go up into the city over here into a hotel or he's going to go to the one at the beach. So you can see he's driving. Well, you can't because he's underneath this little bridge right here. So if he goes left, he's going to go to the beach. If he goes right, then he's going up into the city. So let's see which one he's going to. Both of them doesn't matter. They're both just as easy as each other. Let's see, which way is he going to turn? And he's going left. All right, we're going to the beach. I'm going to speed this part up a little bit because you can't go fast. You just literally got to just trail behind him. Um, so let's speed this part up. All right, and as you can see, we're at the V Hotel right here. He's about to turn in. Um, now, for this one, you're going to wait. Sansa's going to give us a call here in a second. But there's literally just like two places they could be. And you don't need to get out of your helicopter. Um, so there we go. There's her calling. All right. So now we're just going to turn here. It's either going to be up on one of these balconies or down on the floor next to the pool. So I don't see them up on the balcony right here. So I'm assuming they're down in the corner, the left corner over here. Let's just... Fit. Oh, actually, is that them on top? I think they actually are on top. Let's put this into hover mode. Where the hell am I looking? Okay. There they are. There's the two of them. 
And take a picture. Okay, now it just says wait for Santa to contact you. So now we can just fly off. Just head back towards your auto shop and you should be good to go. It's that easy. Now there you go. Mission passed. It was that easy. <laughs> All you have to do is you don't need to get out your helicopter. You just take a picture with the same thing you used to scan. And that's it. All right, let's head back to our auto shop. All right, and just like that, we are back at our auto shop. So go ahead and fill up on some snacks just in case you, uh, you used some up. Even though you shouldn't have took any damage on that last mission because you were just flying around in a helicopter. Uh, but now we're on the end. We are literally here at the end, ladies and gentlemen. So let's go ahead and start this up. We are going to be doing it solo. And then at this point, you can switch between different cars and stuff like that. If you have them, I'm not doing anything. We're just literally staying with the exact same setup, the basic setup. Let's go ahead and start this up. And of course, I can hear the rain already, game. I can hear it. First, it was nighttime and now it's bloody raining. <laughs> the two times I don't like recording. I like it when it's bright and colorful. You know what I mean? Anyway, all we're doing right now is driving straight to the bank. Let's, go, let's, let's do it. And these guys, they don't stop talking, by the way. They are so annoying. They are so annoying. Let's speed this part up here a little bit. All right, we're here. We're going to leave our car here. We are not going to be using this car. So we're not going to worry about it. For this one, I think we're going to do the police car strategy. Uh, but there is a lot of strategies that I'm going to talk to you guys about here in just a second. I feel like I'm having to talk over these guys because they literally don't stop talking. But... <laughs> it's fine. <laughs> All right, so make sure, like, well, it's telling you. I don't need to tell you. Don't have your guns out or anything like that. Just going to run straight through here, talk to this guard. We'll flash our badge at this guard. And that's basically it. Uh, yes, sir. Here you go. Here's my ID. Thank you. Appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, so like I was saying, there is a lot of strategies for this. I have a strategy where you can skip the escape uh, by drinking. If you want to see that, I will leave it linked at the end of this video and in the description. I'll leave all of them. All the union videos that I have, I'll leave linked at the end of this video and in the description. Because it is, uh, there's some really good ones. Like I say, if you want to do the skip where when you leave, once you've got the cash or the gold, when you leave, if you want to skip where all the SWAT and everything is, there is a way to do it. Like I say, I'll leave that linked at the end. I may actually try that out tomorrow as well to see if it can still, uh, see if it's still possible. All right. So the alarm is going to go off. It's inevitable. Um, but if you're doing this solo, just make sure you grab both stacks of gold on both sides. The alarm's going to go off literally right now. There you go. But make sure you grab both. Don't be scared. Don't start running. It's fine. Like I say, if you do the strategy where you skip the SWAT team area. Um, it is, it's actually a lot of fun. Like I say, I'll leave it a link to the end of the video. Uh, so we'll use this, I guess. So sometimes a guard spawns there. Yeah, you saw him. But we're not. We're not going to. I'm going to try not to fight too much here. We're just going to grab the police car and then leave. We're going to head to the police station and we're going to fly out of here. Like I say, I'm sad that it's raining. <laughs> it is what it is, though, man. All right, let's do this thing. So there is some guards that can just appear right here. There is some SWAT that can just appear. So if that does happen, just keep your eyes out. All right, let's see this. Where are you? Oh, it's you. I was like, trying to think. Who the hell was that that was shooting at me? I think that's it. No, one more guy. Oh, excuse you, sir. I didn't not see you there. All right, this guy needs a little headshot. There we go. I think there's probably one more here. There we go. All right, we're just going to run. We're just going to run. All right, let's put some armor on. I don't have full armor either, by the way, but it is what it is. So we're actually just going to take out these guys. There's going to be some SWAT people. So let's make sure we take these guys out. Oh, almost died there. Just the SWAT. Just the SWAT. All right, now we're going to grab this police car. There is more coming, as you guys can see. But it's fine. We should be out of here by then. All 
All right, so where we're headed to is going to be the police station, which I believe is this one right here. All right, so we're just going to drive to where I said right here. It should be the police station. Um, and we're going to hope that they have the uh, the helicopter on the roof. If not, we can just drive there. I'm not too worried, but we should be fine. We should be able to get out of here. I wish it wasn't raining. It just makes it a little bit more difficult to drive one of these things, but I'm sure the police there are having just as hard time. All right, let's speed this part up just a little bit. Oh, flat tire. All right, so here we are at our location. Now, hopefully, like I say, hopefully... Uh, <laughs> We're not going to have... Uh, oh, there's, hopefully the helicopter's going to be here. And the reason you're walking very slowly, by the way, if you're doing this like me, don't forget, you've got a full bag of bloody gold strapped on your back. So you're going to be heavy. All right. So be careful here. You don't want to fall. Don't want to fall. So I would say 90% of the time this helicopter's here. Obviously, I'm sure you guys know about this strategy. If you do the Diamond Casino uh, heist as well, same thing. All right, and there it is. Perfect. I wish I had some better guns on me, though. You know what I mean? I wish I had my, um, whatchamacallit, my, <laughs> my rail gun or something. Like, we're losing the police. You can see that the thing's flashing. Even though, okay, there we go. Now they've found us. It's fine. By the time they figure it out and start shooting at us, we're going to be out of here. Just like that, we're out. So, like I say, there is a strategy. I'll leave it linked at the end of this video and in the description where you can skip that part. Well, the, skip the escape part. Like, once you've got the gold, you can pass out and spawn up and spawn, like, down the street so you don't even need to worry about it. But, you know, doing it this way, stealing that cop car, in my opinion, is just as easy, man. It's, it's still not really that difficult. But if you do have a hard time with the SWAT once you've grabbed the gold, maybe test out the other strategy like i say i'll leave it linked at the end of the video and in the description and i might actually test it out tomorrow because i haven't done it in a few months so we'll see tomorrow's video maybe we'll try that again because it is fun <laughs> all right let's speed this part up a little bit all right and just like that we are coming up to our location right here let's see if i can land this helicopter in here and we should be good to go Oops. She just came in the green light. There we go. Let's get rich, <laughs> Look at all the bullet holes we've got in us. You know what I mean? It's okay. <laughs> we made it out alive. Just make sure, like I say, you have armor and snacks and stuff on you. And there we have it. Thank you. Pleasure doing business with you as always. Contract passed. All right, let's see that nice fat paycheck. 810, obviously, they do take a cut. They take a $90,000 cut. Um, but still, 810000 for something that literally, I mean, this took from start to finish, like, what, 23 minutes, if that? Um, so for 23 minutes of work, it is pretty nice, if you ask me. And the cooldown, I'll let you guys tomorrow what the cooldown was. I'll end up testing it here now. But some people say an hour, some people say 30 minutes, some people say 40 minutes. We'll find out tomorrow. But anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed that video. If you did, please consider hitting the like button. Subscribe if you're new to the channel. And um, yeah, check out some of the videos that I linked at the end here. They should be up on your screen right now. If not, they'll be in the description. Uh, you may find those to be a little interesting. Anyway, I hope you enjoy the rest of the day. And as always, I will see you guys tomorrow with a brand new video. Goodbye.